But what we're trying to do and other people, we're trying to use it kind of for more futuristic things. Like what? Yeah, like what? So, so one of them is um, trying to make electronics that are soft or stretchable. So, you know, m- most electronic devices that you encounter in your day to day life, like the computer that we're talking on now, um, your, your cell phone, all these things are made out of rigid materials, but our bodies do all these amazing things and they're essentially soft. If you take away the bones, you're like the stuff that does most of the work, like your brain, your, your fingers, your muscles, all this are made out of soft materials. Part of this is sort of a little science fictiony, you know, can we, can we use that as inspiration? But I think there's also some practical things like people are looking at, um, wearable devices or making electronics into clothing that could actually deform be worn comfortably on the body. There's also this entire little subfield that's called soft robotics. And I'm kind of on the periphery of it, but the idea is to try to make, you know, when, at least when I think of a robot, I think of something that you might see in like a, a car factory with like sparks shooting and these like robotic arms moving around, not a very safe place for humans, but there's this idea of trying to make robots soft, more like an octopus because you have unlimited degrees of freedom of motion. You know, an octopus can fit in, <clears throat> fit through like a beer bottle, um, can contort itself. It can, can it can wrap around and grab things. It can do all these complex things, but it's completely soft. You know, if you can start imagining putting sensors or other electronics inside of a material that's like that, that's also kind of a, of interest. Part of the group of people that are here today, they're interested in, in 3D printing. So, you know, there's these 3D printers that can print plastics, print print polymers, but they're not compatible with printing metals. So one of the videos I can show you later, we, we take, um, 3d printed parts and then we inject liquid metal. So it allows you to pattern the metals in ways that just aren't possible with copper or aluminum. 